As you can see, we've got a foot in to the semi-final of the Conference League. Whatever happens, this will be our last year of Ibiza. Can we go out with a top four finish and a European trophy? Find out. Hello everyone, this is Frank and you're watching To Be Frank and the Ibiza say Not played too much since you last saw me, we can just see here. I um, believe it was the Anlet game, 3-1. Comfortably through in the end, give us a better game though, I think overall the Belgians than we thought. Um, Celt of Ego followed out by beating us 3-2 at home. Uh, we then won the 3-0 with a Wilf hat-trick, which is worth um, a little look over, which I'll show you. Um, the man scoring an unbelievable amount of goals. I don't think we're used to the output he's doing this season, but we're starting to actually dominate teams in terms of XG and also the scoreline, which is nice, because we're usually one of those high XG teams anyway. Hold on, as you see, about we were about to score his first goal. Okay. <laughs> a little chip over the keeper. It's a trademark finish. Everyone knows he loves a chip. Um, second goal follows up here. I don't know how he's got Oh, yes. A little one, two of them. Here on the uh, shot, just a tap in at the end for Wilf. And um, he's going to prey on that all day. But yeah, it's nice to actually turn some of our. Um, another tap in as well for please hat trick. A very easy hat trick. A bit like a dirt cow or an Ollie Gunner Sulch goal one which um, he's better than usually. Usually likes a bit of a spectacle goal, but um, no, not to be today. But as I said, it's nice for us to actually turn a few of these um, convincing performances and convincing wins. Um, a one all draw against Malaga is not a terrible result. And um, three nil win in the first leg against Austria Vienne, which is what you're going to see the second leg as the first game of today's episode. And um, obviously that puts it to the semi-final, which is going to be fascinating to see who we get. Um, the only game, obviously, we missed since then was Villarreal 4-1. Oh, to be honest with you, they just deserved it. They were the better team, and um, it doesn't leave us in a bad way. But um, So we're three points clear of fourth, um, but the chasing pack has caught us up now. So top four is by no means a foregone conclusion, but there, we're running out of games now. We have got Real Madrid next, which makes it a bit hard, but... We've got Barca, Sevilla, Atleti. So if we're going to get top four, we're going to have to earn it because we've got some really hard games coming up. We've got to beat the teams like Athletic and Levante um, and arguably get something out of the, the big boys at home, Madrid and Barca. But it's going to be hard, obviously, isn't it? So I think today's episode will be Austria, Vienne, Real Madrid. Um, we'll see where we are for time, but we might chuck in the Athletic game as well. But never mind that. I, I'm feeling, um, as I said in the intro, this will be our last um, season with Ibiza. We've got FM23 coming out shortly and the beta and everything involved in that. So, however, I think I made the decision to, after I will upload the save game for this to the last episode of this uh, playthrough. You can take it, go forward, enjoy enjoy Tyreball if you want to. For as, as little long of FM22 is left, go enjoy the save. I think I've built a really good platform for people to take this forward and try and enjoy it. I'm not going to play on with it, but it'd be nice to see someone take it to that uh, La Liga winners and take it to the Champions League, whatever. Either way, let's try and get the job done and worry about all that later. So I'll join you back for the first game. I'll see you then. Away. We have a 3-0 lead, so we should mark that up, should we? Team has been picked. Um, just went over this a little bit quickly, but um, we've got Lavery, Tybor, Marku Kalpi, Milenkovic, Oriana, Badawi. Sotalo, Mitrovic, Dorvalino, Castillo and Maximiano. More or less our full strength team. We're still going to go for it. I'm not going to go with the mentality where we've got a three-goal lead. We should be all right. Um, we've got a few players just missing out for fitness like Wilf and Marto, but at the end of the day, we, we should be all right. Um, we have a three-goal lead. I'd like an early goal just to kill that more or less, but See, you never know with football manager, do you? It has ways of just making you cry, and um, I'm really hoping that isn't one of those days. You have to pardon my voice, I am losing it slightly. Um, mainly why you didn't get an episode the last couple of days, just bad, just bad, bro. All good, like not you all, just lost my voice completely. It seemed to have started well, Austria. Headed over the bar, thankfully. That should give us time to regroup and try and build something. Back now. Carlo on a throw in, throws it down to Lavery. Lenkovic, very number one. But it's very cool. Bit uh, big headed, I like it. Oriana, long range. Oh, it's out to Castillo. 
back to Dovalina. Man, he cost 76 grand. Or not even. I don't even know how much it was, but it was less than 100 grand, which is just amazing to me to see him playing at this level. Oriana, Castillo, first time ball in the middle. Lavery, oh, what a header. Had like a Castillo with like a first time cross volley into the middle of the box. The Northern Irishman. He's got a lot of hang time there. It's really hard to generate power like that with your neck muscle when the ball's just hanging. He's just cracked it in. Look at that. Speed, man. Henson goal has got no chance. Lavery's accuracy is more important than the power there. He's just placed it on a plum to onto the post. On a plum? I don't think that's what I'm saying. On a plum. <laughs> Headed over again from Austria again. But that goal should give us the... That should put us through. We're falling up on that good. I'd be really surprised if we mucked this up from here, but you never know. I'd just like to see this game tip by now, and then we'll see our semi-final opponents. And obviously, we can start planning our next episode, like what we'll be seeing and so on. But we've still got a job to do. Tie ball now. We've got time. Badawi into Lavery. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Good play, though. I love tie ball on the ball. Um, he, he's just smart. He's got the Harry Kane vision to him. He's a striker, but just... Kick balls out like that and just start attacks, which is absolutely fascinating. 43rd minute now, another corner from Austria. They seem to have quite a few of them. Missed that one. That should have been in. Uh, that was a free header, like three yards out, but they missed it. Thankfully for us, we still keep our four goal advantage. Um, in terms of tactics, maybe. I generally do not know what that little, what does that mean here? Look. Anyone let me know? I have no idea. I've been playing this game for a very long time as well, and specifically this year. Played quite a lot, and I still do not know what that means. Mad. Um, either way. Oh, maybe that is fitness related. Let's bring on Monsalvo, who can play that left sided centre back role. Not very well, but he'll do. Into the second half. Highlight straight away. Lavery. Marco Calpi. Tybal plays it back to Pablo Castillo. Tybal has got the ball now. Lofty ball, Pence drops it, but manages to uh, reclaim it and stop Lavery from having it happen. Chamber Dowie, oh, he kicked the ball out there. Lavery, first time volley, chip shot, hits the bar. Nearly a goal of the season contender from Shane Lavery. The Northern Irishman, just uh, unbelievable again. What a season he's been having, and he's, he's probably one of my um, one of my favourite signings of this save. Just more or less nothing. And um, the level of competition he's stepped up to is just mad. Dovalina, Kelna, Fry, Ormeyer. It's 4 1. Got to wake up now. We'll try and make some changes to freshen it up. I, I don't think we're going to go the full whack and then lose this, but uh, we'll bring on Vignato, uh, maybe Gerardo Sanchez for Oriana, just freshen up the team a bit. They have a highlight straight away, which is giving me some panic. I, I don't want to see an Istanbul comeback here. Doesn't look like it will start now, though. Made our changes, and now we'll see what happens. We're into the 63rd. I think barring a monumental collapse, we've done it now. As the time ticks over to the 70th minute, probably think we're there, but I never, ever celebrate too early. In. We get four last-minute goals. I think we're there, though. That's pretty much it. That's job done. We are through to the semi-final of the Europa Conference League. Nice. We deserve it. Definitely do. With that first leg, we were fantastic. Castillo. Chamber Dowie. Pablo Castillo. Dowie. Just knocking it around nicely now, killing the time down, winding it down. Clear the way. Or Maya. Only a few seconds left. I'm not too worried or concerned with where this is going. Oh, good save from Maximiano. I had to think fast there. Um, I know the job's done, but glad he's still sharp in the 93rd minute. Punch it. Clear the way. Clear the way again. Eberhardt. Paul Meyer. Wow, they are probably peppering the goal. Where was this from them? Yeah, so. And there's the full time whistle. We are through to the semi final. Our first ever jaunt into Europe, and we're going far. We're going very far. And I don't know who's playing. Play Braga in the semi final. So, this is what the Conference League is looking like. We've got Vittoria de Guimarães and Leicester. 
Braga versus Ibiza. Braga are a hard team, but you'd think if we get past them, probably playing Leicester. Um, and I don't know where we are in terms of with Leicester and their ability. We just take a look at them in the Premier League. They're fifth, so they're doing pretty well. Uh, <laughs> they just beat Man U 3-0 away. A bit scared by them. Who have they got? Anana, Pestanya, Fofana, Soyun Chu, Thomas, Tielemans and Didi. Mas one he say, who I've never heard of, but he starts at Leicester and he's just developed really well in this one. Madison Barnes, Dakar. They've got Melier, Nia Carte, Broya, Gibril Sal, Piero Hincarpe, Herrera, Anderson, Bicha, Kvarad Scala. They've got a really good team. A really good team. Even the 38 year old Pedro to make up the numbers as well. And Reese Nelson. Wow, they have some team and a half, but right. Well, we'll we'll think about that when we, if we if we get a chance to play them. We've still got to have the honour of trying to beat Braga first, but yeah, we'll figure that out. That will be interesting. But what I'll do is I'll join you back for the Real Madrid game, and then um, we'll figure out what if we're going to put another episode in. Oh, sorry, another game into this episode. But yeah, we'll figure it out. I'll join you back. Well, games don't get much bigger than this, do they? Real Madrid at home. Um, oh, to be honest with you, the auto pick is kind of the team I was going to go for, other than probably Shiri, but we'll just take a look. Cause Mitro really needs a rest in his left centre back, but don't know if I'm going to be able to give him one. Wrong. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know if I can. Um, maybe Sotalo. Right foot. Oh, no, no, no. We'll play Sotalo instead of um, Shiri, even though he is a little bit tired too. I've got to play the best team possible for a chance to win this game. Maximiano in goal. Pablo Castillo. Bosco Sotalo. Mitro. On Salve. Tommy Doyle. Mia. Budawi. Vignato. Tybal. And Wilf up top. Uh, bench will more or less stay the same. But I mean, might bring on Gerardo Sanchez. Just in case. But yeah, we'll go into it. I'm not going to fear these lot. They, um, I don't think we beat them, honestly, at any point in this save yet. But we'll just look at their team. Bar, Baku, Milenkovic, Militao, Lava, Lava, Alaba, <laughs> Casemiro, Fede Valverde, Camavinga, Raheem Sterling, Diaz, Dybala, and the benches for kick. They've got our man, Javier Bellman, on the bench, which still makes me sad. I'd love to bring him back. Obviously, I'm not going to get a chance to. That'd be a long term ambition. If any of you do take the save game on once I finish with it, try and get Javier Bellman back as the number one. It's going to cost a lot of money. I'm, I'm probably aware of that, but it's worth it. It's just worth doing. We say yes, Real Madrid nearly scored with our first highlight of the game. <laughs> Come on, guys, just be strong. Be strong. Luis Mia. Camavinga heads away. Fede Valverde's got far too much room. Good tackle. I don't know who that was, but that was a fantastic tackle. Still back who? Sterling. Do it again. He's causing trouble down this right hand side. Ball in, headed away. Alaba, Cavavinga, Cassidy, Ibala, Sterling. Oh, miss. Good move from Real Madrid, though. They are very fluid. 20 minutes in, though. They haven't scored as of yet, but we've really not made any chances. We've not seen a highlight for ourselves either, but yeah, um, they're looking a bit ropey at the moment. I mean, look, I mean, to be fair, I'd take it going into half time, nil nil. Maybe I can take a look at the team, make a few adjustments, and see if I can make any changes. But yeah, because people like Sotalo are really struggling back there because obviously he wasn't fit when I picked him. But we'll try and make that change at half time, see what we can do for him. Sterling. Valverde. Oh, get that tackle. Oh, good shot from Dybala, but. A little bit wayward, thankfully for us. We reached half time, nil nil with Madrid. Not a terrible result by any means, but probably take off um, Bosco Sotalo for Dorvalino. A very, very worthy person to come in for him. By no means a downgrade on the position. Just Sotalo looks like he's struggling with fitness. Probably wouldn't make the full 90. So let's give him an encourage. They're playing well. They're staying in the game with Real Madrid, which is fantastic. I mean, reached the 60th minute now, so I might even look for an attacking sub now, but maybe Marku Kalpi for Vignato, um, and then we'll leave it there. We might bring on Lavery if it gets to like 80th minute and we'll still connect with them. Malenkovic probably is a good shout for uh, Mia. We're in the 75th now. 
game is ticking by very, very nicely. Problem in courage. Maybe we can nick a goal late on. We've restricted them in the second half to not many chances and there's not been a highlight. Three added on. You're just going to tick through for a nil-nil draw. By no means the best result, but the, the form we've had against Barcelona and Real Madrid, that's not bad. I'll take that any day of the week. Um, where does that leave us? So, Sociedad haven't played yet. No one's played yet. So we don't know the damage of that draw until people really play. So we'll tick forward a bit. And we'll see what happens. I want, I want to say here are all the games are now because I want to see where we're looking, shaking up. We're about five games left. I need to see if that draw was bad or not. Um, so see that one, Barca one, Sevilla one. All right, okay. So pretty good. Celta Vigo haven't played yet, but more or less unchanged. We're, we are where we are at the moment, which is pretty good because I assume Sociedad had lost the last game, which is pretty cool for us, but. We're looking all right. That's not bad. That draw out against Madrid ain't bad. But the athletic game is huge. Like, huge. And because it was a short game, we will chuck an episode in. I don't think I'll play the athletic game, though. What I'll do is I'm going to play the first Braga game. I will play the um, athletic game off camera, and I'll join you back for the Braga game, and then we'll wrap this episode up. Well, it wasn't pretty, but it's another draw. Um, I don't know how this really helps us in the grand scheme of things. I'm trying to get in top four. I'll take a look at the league table after. But if you see our XG, we did outperform them in terms of expected goals and we had more shots than them in general. But um, yeah, I mean, it's not a terrible result. We just watched the goals. So I'll um, turn the speed down so you can see what we saw. I'm not at the Braga game yet. I just wanted to recap the goals, obviously, before we move on into that important game. Um, okay, it's already at the cool speed. That's fine. Got off to a great start. Good work from Castillo there, um, who's really blending into the team now. Big tie ball. Um, I think he could score headers like that all day long. Um, that's just his, that's his wheelhouse, isn't it? Um, the younger Williams brother made it one all, who has been a pest to us in this whole save. Uh, Tybal with a good flick on then, and Wilf with a beautiful finish. I think that's his 32nd league goal of the season, which is mad. And the last goal of the game was scored later on. There you go, Williams here with a turning. It's the Williams double again. Um, Big brother, little brother combo. They do us every time. <laughs> um, but two all, not terrible. We look at the league table now. Um, we're fourth, but we've got a five-point gap, which is on Athletic, which is pretty handy. So that draw isn't bad because it stops them winning in a, in a sense. But the win was there to be had to more or less cement us in that top four. But it is what it is. We can't uh, change it now. So of Ego and Valencia still to play, but... Looking good. I don't think we can draw our way there. We need a few wins out of this. Um, how many have we got? We've got four games left in the league. You're probably looking, I mean, Barca at home is hard. But Levante home last game of the season, got to be a win. We win that, we're probably there. But we've got to pick up either a win out of Barca at home, Sevilla away, or Madrid or Atletico away, which is just a bit difficult. Um, either way, we'll join you back for the Braga game and um, we'll wrap this episode up here. Not been a successful one in terms of wins, but we're getting the job done with draws. Not losing is sometimes as good as But, yeah, if you're hard to beat, you could be all right. But we need, I don't know. Well, this, this uh, semi-final leg, we need to take a win from Portugal back home to the island. So let's see if we can. Here we are, the biggest game in our little club's history, a European semi-final first leg. Uh, we're lucky, we've more or less got the first team to pick from, so we're going to go ahead with it. I don't need to read you out that team, that is our typical team. Um, Lida and Tommy Doyle back into the starting eleven for Rocky and uh, Oriana, who did really well. Um, Rocky and Or Oriana have probably been our two um, most rotational players. They've been in the team very often and not been offensive when they've played. That's the least you could ask from a backup or rotational player. We're into the first highlight, Tyvor there, didn't jump. <laughs> but doesn't need to sometimes. He's so much taller than the uh, back four. He usually doesn't need to get that spring of his going. Luis Mia turns. What can he do? The ball's in there. Tie ball. Flicks on. Flamed by Matthias. Goal for Braga. Weird highlight. I don't think that was ours. That's why. I think he's just going to pump it along and score here or something. But thankfully not. Tommy Doyle. Mia. Nyato. Wilf. Oh, he's beat that centre back. Oh, little shot. Not a lot of power in it. I don't think he's ever going to beat the man from there, but um, he did his best. We're okay. We're starting well. We don't look scared of um, Braga, um, and we shouldn't be. I think we're above them in, in terms of um, ability. 
No, it's very hard to guess. We haven't played them before. We don't know what their level is. Obviously, they've done well. They've got to the semi-final too. So, I'm sure, they've beat a few teams which probably they shouldn't shouldn't have beat, or maybe they've had an easy run. I think we've had an okay run. And Elect and um, Austria are decent. Our group was all right too. Um, but, yeah, not a very action-packed game. Um, it kind of suits us, though. I, I don't mind the away leg being a bit of a dull uh, because I fancy us to beat anyone at home. Be nice to come away for one nil win. We'll pop them in encouragement. And, um, we'll be looking to make changes about 60, just to freshen things up. But we'll let this highlight play out and see what happens. Del Prato. So, clear the way. Wilf's on it now. Couldn't get the ball to tie ball there, but there was room for him. Wilf now in the, down the wing. Tommy Doyle. Nyato. Tie ball. Back to Tommy Doyle. Vignato. Can he turn and get that little ball? He's looking for that little pass, isn't he, to Vignato. Uh, sorry, to Wilf. Yeah. Oh, Badal, he's been picked out. He can't finish. What a ball that was, though. Water over a free kick from about 30 yards. Hits the bar. I think that's probably going to be the, the limit of their chances this game. It's going to be long ranges. Um, let's make a change. Tybal's on a yellow. Don't know about taking off, though. Badal, he's a bit tired. Galpi. Just freshen things up, I think. Well, Joe, you know I'm going to take Tiber off for Lavery. Um, I fancy him to get a goal. I, I always fancy him to get a goal. He's a goal scorer. Um, that's pretty much all he does <laughs> just score goals, which isn't a bad thing to do. That's what he's paid to do. Looks like Leicester are cementing their place in the final already. 2 0 away at Victoria. It'd be hard to see them coming back from that, especially going to the King Power as well. Tommy Doyle. Milenkovic. Porter's nicked it. The other one, oh, they've got two horses. Wow, they're giving it away very sloppy though. Lewis Mia. Wilf. Is that goal? It, is, it looks like it is. Wilf Rudigan's on. Oh no, it's been disallowed. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, they're over a corner now. Andre Horta. Headed away from Sitalo. We're at the other Horta. Got the ball now. Ran into Cardozo. Yeah. Oh, Wilf back there defending. Oh, He's fouled him. He's going to get sent off. <laughs> right, we'll move it to attacking. They're going to go down to 10 and we'll give them in courage. But they're down to 10. He won't be able to play the second leg. I don't know if he's a big player for them, but he won't be playing it with it. We're into the last couple of seconds. No, it's going to be another draw. Wow, a hat-trick of draws this episode. I'm sorry for the lack of goals, but Joe, on the grand scheme of things, that's not a bad result for us. We can take them home now. And uh, yeah, I fancy us at home. They're missing a player. Um, it should be in our favour. But we'll see, obviously. We've got Barca to play. Um, I will join you probably for the um, next episode. will be the semi-final of second leg and probably the culmination of the league. And last episode will probably just be the final and a little chat about everything. And then, yeah, we're there. But thanks for joining me this episode. I'm sorry for the lack of goals. But, you know, sometimes a draw is as good as a win. Um, we're, we're creeping over the finish line for Champions League football. Um, I thank you for joining me. It's been a pretty quick one as well, considering the amount of games we've played. Yeah, my name's Frank. You've been watching TV, Frank. And um, this is the Ibiza Safe, nearly at its culmination now. So thank you for the journey and uh, five seasons of fun. See you later. Mm -hmm.